Hey guys, um, so first off, I'm sorry for the lack of videos recently. Um, I actually have been wearing glasses for the past few days, so I haven't been able to record. Um, and if you see me in this video, I'm wearing, um, I am wearing contacts, but I'm wearing my very last pair of contacts. So, um, I have an eye appointment Monday to hopefully get some more contacts. Um, but... I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers because I have like 16 now, which is shocking, but um, wonderful. And um, just thank you for subscribing to me, um, even though I have had an extreme lack of videos. Um, but anyways, today's tutorial was um, how to get glowy, dewy skin. No, I used two non-drugstore items. Um, but the rest are drugstore, so they're, so they're easy to find. Um, it's just a really, really natural, glowy, dewy sort of bronze um, look, and it does look really, really nice. Um, so this is this is a really great look for summer because um, summer is all about the sort of dewy, glowy skin, and um, that's what I showed you how to get. Um, so the eyes are really, really natural. I have basically one shade on the lid and then one shade on the inner corner, and that's it. I didn't even put primer on my lid um, and then just mascara no eyeliner and then as for the face it's just um, really 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 glowy and um, really bronze uh, up at the sides as you can see um, and the lips are just a really natural sort of tint pink um, I didn't put on major lipstick or anything because everything for this look is supposed to look really really natural um, almost like you're not wearing makeup of course you know you could sort of tell that I'm wearing makeup but for the most part from far away it would not look like I'm wearing makeup it just looks like I have really really dewy skin um, so once again this is perfect for summer uh, of course on the really hot days I wouldn't do all this because this does involve a little bit of foundation and you don't want the foundation to melt off your face but on those cooler sort of breezier days when you're not going to the beach but you're just going shopping or something to that effect um, this would look really really nice so um, I hope you guys enjoy this there once again will be pictures at the end of the video Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Hope you enjoy the video. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my face. I'm using my Jergens Ultra Healing Extra Dry Skin Moisturizer. And this step is, of course, optional. And I'm just going to put it on like that, and then rub it in. Okay, and after I have that down, I'm going to take my concealer. And for concealer today, I'm using the Revlon um, Concealer and Highlighter. It just looks like this. And that's what it says in the back. And of course, I'm using the concealer side here. And I'm just going to take that on a finger because um, it tends to cake up if I don't warm it up with my finger first. So, And I'm just going to apply that in a triangle shape around my eyes. And then I'm just going to take my finger and sort of rub slash pat like a dragging motion almost okay so then for my actual sort of foundation um, I'm not really using foundation because I find that foundation dries up on me really easily but I'm going to take the aqua CG smoothers from covergirl tinted moisturizer with SPF 15 because it is summer I'm going to take this this what it looks like I'm going to do um, just a small pump on my hand because um, I can always put more on my hand, but you can't really squeeze it back into the container, so. And then I'm actually going to take Benefit High Beam here. And this is just the mini version, you can see I'm almost out, but um, I have this on my hand and I'm going to take High Beam, and I'm just going to take it and put it a good amount next to the tinted moisturizer, just like that. You can see there's High Beam. And there's the tinted moisturizer, high beam tinted moisturizer. And then I'm just going to take my foundation brush and mix them together. And what this will do is this will give me a glowy sort of tinted moisturizer effect. And then I'm just going to apply it to my face. And then I'm going to take my e.l.f. powder brush, which looks like this, just a flat top brush. And I'm just going to buff it into my face really well. Um, if you have any blemishes that you want to cover up, like... I have a few, as you can see. Um, you can cover them up, but I'm just going to leave mine like it is because I want it to look natural. Not like I have flawless, flawless skin. I want glowy skin, but not fake-looking skin. 
Now what I'm going to do is uh, apply my blush and for blush I'm using a shimmery um, cream blush and this is the Rimmel London Mousse Blush in 002 Peach Ice Tea. You can see I have the tiniest amount left over there. but I'm just going to take a really tiny amount. Like a really tiny amount. Smile. And apply this on my cheeks going up. Um, now remember, all of this is supposed to be really subtle looking, um, not like bam in your face makeup, um, because it's supposed to look really, really natural. Right, okay, so, um, after you have that done, I'm going to move to the eyes real quick and then we'll come back to finishing the face. Um, as for the eyes, once again, you want to keep everything on the face really, really natural looking, and for the eyes, I'm going to do the same. Um, I'm just going to apply this matte peach shade. And this is from L Cosmetics. See, um, and this is in the eyeshadow quad number 208. So you can't get this anymore, but just look for a matte peach shade or a matte nude shade. And I'm just going to take that on a flat shader brush here. And that's going to go all over my eyelid. I don't even have a base on my eyelid because it wouldn't make a big difference because it's just supposed to look really really natural now you can apply a base if you want to that's fine I'm just not once again really really matte and really really nice um, really really light colors and then I'm going to take my um, wet n wild ultimate expressions sandcastle palette and this is in number 396 um, this is just the eyeshadow palette or whatever yes I did get it for 50% off anyways um, and I'm just going to take this really really shimmery white color here and it did break but it's, I can still use it and I'm just going to take that on a small inner corner brush and I'm just going to take that and put that right in the inner corner and that really opens up your eyes and just makes you look absolutely awake and just like that and then I'm going to, you can apply mascara, uh, not mascara, you can apply eyeliner if you want to. But once again, I'm going to try and keep this really natural and I'm just going to curl my lashes. And then I'm going to apply um, Rimmel London's Volume Flash Mousse Mascara in 003 Extreme Black to finish the face. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is set all of this cream and powder things um, on my face with some pressed powder. This is the LA Colors Pressed Powder in Tan, which you cannot see, but it is in Tan which is just my skin tone. You can use a translucent. Translucent would be better, but I don't have any translucent powder. I'm just taking this on a kabuki brush. And then I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Bronzer in 348 Starlight Bronze and my NYC Smooth Skin um, Bronzer in 7208 Sunny. And I'm going to actually take these and mix these both on the brush. And then you can highlight. Of course, I you can use Benefit High Beam, that would work, um, but I'm actually going to use oh, goodness, the Revlon Concealer and Highlighter Duo again. And that's going to go down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, then on my cheek, upper cheekbones area. Um, as for lips, I'm just going to apply a chapstick, or the MAC Tinted Lip Conditioner in Popster. Um, which has SPF 15, the label's torn up, and this is from the Hello Kitty collection. So you can't get it anymore, but um, just try and find a tinted lip balm. Um, and I'm just going to take that on my finger. Just barely any, because this stuff is really, really pigmented. Um, stay tuned for pictures at the end of the video, and um, comment, like, and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And, um, and I'll see you guys later for the next video. Bye! Up at ten to four, just like a thousand times before.